and welcome back to my channel, Sea Panda Crafts. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video today. I have a fall haul to share with you guys. I'm super excited to be sharing this haul with you guys. I have been going to Dollar Tree every few days, hoping my Dollar Tree will start stocking the fall decor items. And finally I gave up and I went to two other Dollar Trees and they were finally starting to stock their shelves with fall decor and so uh yeah without too much rambling i will go ahead and jump right into this video okay so the first um item i'm going to share with you guys is this really cute um sign it says welcome to our patch and it's on this stake i don't know if i'm going back far enough but they also had a couple other ones um that had different sayings on them and then they had one uh, with a football. I think it said like welcome family and friends. Um, but I, this one appealed to me the most. So I picked this up. It does have glitter on the welcome part and I'm not a huge fan of glitter on the signs, but, um, I just thought this one was too cute to pass up. I also got this felt pumpkin and I'm going to be using this in a DIY. Uh, they do have these every year, but I think this one is a little different. This one has this um, glitter trim around it, and it's blank on the other side. It doesn't have that trim. And this looks a little, this part looks a little bit different than last year's design. Um, so let me know in the comments if it is different. I actually might already have one of these, but I haven't gotten my fall tote down from the garage yet. <laughs> I also found this really cute um i guess hanger decor and it says friends or family friends and football and again it does have glitter on all of the pieces even like the stitching on the footballs do but i think this would be really cute to do a football um, fall themed wreath and i i think i'm going to do that with this one i'm not 100 percent, but i might be doing that with this i also found the red truck sign and it just says hello fall and again the glitter is ridiculous but i love the image on this so i can't wait to figure out what i'm going to do with this and then of course the back is just blank. I am so happy about this. I missed out last year, I didn't get, get it fast enough, but these are the little metal words and they say thankful, harvest, and welcome. You get three of them and it's just like little galvanized metal. And this is definitely something that you want to stock up on now because these will be gone and I learned my lesson last year so go ahead and grab the run to Dollar Tree and grab these as fast as you can. I also got this wood blend wreath and it's almost like a wicker I think it's like a wicker material but I picked up that I got lots of fall floral, and again, I probably have a lot of these already in the garage in one of my totes, but the first one I got was this, it's called a filler bouquet, and it's just like these really pretty cream flowers, and I said it before on my channel, um, just when you're buying flowers from the Dollar Tree or like Michaels or anything, just make sure you check all the stems because a lot of times people just grab um, like the top and will pull them out and the little they'll pop off really easily. So you just wanna make sure you're getting your money's worth out of the flowers. I also picked up some of this wheat grass and I got two different colors. So I got, I think three stems of each, yes. And so I just got this light colored one and then this darker one and i think they have one more i've seen one more color 
uh, floating around on YouTube, but I don't, I can't remember what it is. And I also bought these really beautiful hydrangeas. I love the colors, like the deep purple. They're almost, they almost look black in the middle and I just think they're so beautiful. And then I got one of these cream color hydrangeas and I'm pretty sure I already have these. So I only got one. <laughs> I also picked up this garland and they have many different colors available, but I really liked the red tones in here. They have ones that are more orange and I think they have some that are yellow, but I just liked this one the best. I also picked up this cute pumpkin decorative ribbon and you get nine Feet out of this and if you saw I think it was my last seller tree haul or the one before that I hauled some pumpkins and I found this little cute burlap pumpkin and so I was really excited about that and I also got this rustic cut white pumpkin it has like this metal leaf on it which is a beautiful detail and I just love how it looks like it's almost wood and these I think are hollow last year I don't remember them being so light but they are hollow which doesn't bother me but I just think this is gorgeous and I'm still on the hunt for those blue pumpkins I went they had a u-boat out and I was actually going through some boxes because I saw some things that I wanted and I didn't see any of the blue pumpkins so I'm still gonna be on the hunt for those. I also got this cute little guy, this little owl ornament, and they also had uh, one with a green hat. And then I got this three pack of pumpkin, pumpkin clips in the white, and they also had orange available. And so they just have a little alligator clip in the back to make it easy to put on whatever craft you're doing or floral arrangement and I also got this this is one of the things that I was digging in the boxes for and it was this white pumpkin I love the little raffia on here and this one says gather with grateful hearts they also had a black one I believe in an orange one that were the uh, words had glitter and they said different things, but uh, I decided to pass on those, but I will leave a picture on the screen for you guys. And I don't even think you need to DIY this. It's beautiful as is. I also found, I didn't, I don't remember seeing this last year, but it's just like this wooden, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I thought at first it was a napkin holder but it has like this little square. I guess you could put pens or whatever, or maybe even flowers in it. But I thought this was awesome to DIY. All you need to do is put some paint on there and you're good to go, fill it with some flowers or whatever. And they also had a few other designs. I will go ahead and also leave a picture for you guys. Um, but yeah, I thought this was super cute and I don't remember seeing this last year. I found the bread sized plates of the sunflower. If you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, I was searching for these and I found them. I also got this really pretty leaf decorative tray. You can hold, you can put food, snacks, whatever in there. I plan on spray painting this or painting it, maybe chalk paint and uh, doing something with it. So this is pretty heavy duty plastic. It's not like flimsy, you can't bend it. Uh, they have these out every year. I also found the cute little salt and pepper shakers and these are the pumpkin set. One does have three holes and then one does have two. They also had the squirrels and the owls like they did last year. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to paint these or not. I think I'm leaning more towards painting them but this is one of the things I was digging in the boxes for. I 
I also got this headband and the reason why it's in this haul is because uh, the black and white buffalo check I think is so fall and I, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing this in my hair if I'm going to use it for a DIY but I thought I don't know I might I might try it in my hair headbands are coming back I suppose so I don't know we'll see but I thought I would go ahead and throw it in this haul this is a green briar product and it is in where all the hair accessories are I don't know why I keep buying canvases from the Dollar Tree. They just keep coming out with the cutest canvases. And so I thought this one was stunning. It's perfect for fall. It has the little flower cart locally grown with the sunflowers. And I just thought it was so beautiful and so farmhouse. And they had a bunch of new ones. And I think I saw horses. I, I did take a picture, I believe. So I will go ahead and leave that image for you guys. If you guys are into horses, uh, you can go ahead and see what they have. But this was so cute. And then this one, I don't, I put this thing back like three times. So I'm like, no, I don't need it. I need it. No, I don't need it. Okay, I'm gonna get it. So it's this beautiful white barn and I just think it's so cute and so farmhouse and I've been on the hunt for the cow with the flowers and I, I haven't been able to find it but I think that would go along with this image for some reason that's what pops into my head but uh, I just thought this was so beautiful and I love changing out my canvases and my decor based on the seasons and I have probably a stack this high of them so um, I love Dollar Tree's canvases. I think they're an awesome value for a dollar. And if you don't like the image, you could always just use the canvas and paint over it and do your own DIY. Or you can even use like the little wood in there and do a reverse canvas. So possibilities are endless with the Dollar Tree canvases. And the last item I picked up, you guys, were, were these bag of ginger snaps i've never seen this brand at the dollar tree but it's true blue and ginger snaps remind me of the holidays uh this says no it has no high fruit fruit coast corn syrup no artificial colors no preservative no preservatives and no artificial flavors so i thought this was an awesome value and i've never heard of this brand but it says it's made in the usa in texas and you get five cookies and it's 130 calories, 20 grams of carbs and one sugar. Or, I'm sorry, nine sugars, one protein. So I don't think that's bad for cookies and these are just like a great little snack to have with your coffee or whatever. I just, it reminds me of fall. So I picked those up and that completes this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the items that I picked up. And if you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified whenever I post a video, all you have to do is click the little bell. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you would consider doing so. I would appreciate it so, so much. And until my next video, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye.